Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today is day 22 of our new year, new yogi challenge. So if you are watching this video, that means you have made it through three weeks of the new year, new yogi challenge, and you are now on week four. So congratulations. So proud of you. We're gonna do a full body stretch today. So we're just easing into this week with a nice flexibility based type of practice. Um, so let's get started in a easy seated position with some breath. So close your eyes down. You can rest your hands on your knees. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out the mouth. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Good. On your next inhale, drop your right hand down to the ground and let your left ear fall over to your left shoulder for a next stretch here. If you want a little more, you want to deepen the stretch left hand very gently rests on the side of the head without pulling just using the left hand to create weight and make our stretch a little bit deeper and if you want to move your head back and forth adding some movement you can do that too Inhale, exhale, release the left hand down to the ground. Drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Let the right hand gently rest on the side of the head if you want to deepen the stretch. You can find a little bit of movement forward and back if you like. Exhale, release the right hand. Sweep the arms up, inhale, interlace the fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, bring those hands straight in front of you. Let's walk the hands forward. Coming down for a forward reach, a forward fold. Exhale, walk the hands back. Let's make our way up to a table position on the hands and knees. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, bringing the knees underneath the hips. We'll extend our right arm out to the side, inhale. Exhale, bring it behind the left. Right ear, right shoulder come down to the ground. You can keep your left hand planted down on the ground or bend this left arm behind your back. Inhale. 
Exhale, lower the left hand down. Press back up to the table position. Let's do it on the other side. Inhale, left arm out to the side. Exhale, bring it behind the right. Left ear, left shoulder come down. Right hand can stay planted on the ground or you could bend that arm behind your back. Exhale, lower that right hand back down. Press back up to a table position. Big toes together, knees wide. We'll float the hips back towards the heels for child's pose, Balasana. Extend those arms forward. Melt your chest down towards your mat. Let your forehead, chin, or cheek rest on the mat. Good. Inhale. Exhale, float your body forward. Let's tuck our toes under. Lift our hips up and back for a down dog. Of course, you can keep your knees on the ground if you like. Just pedal our feet a little bit here. Press your chest towards your thighs. Let's take our right foot, looking up in between our hands, and step our right foot up in between the hands. Left knee will come down. You're gonna bring the top of the foot flat. Let's sweep the arms up, low lunge. Good. Inhale here and low lunge. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Extend the right arm up. If it feels okay, and if you'd like to, you can bend this back knee and reach for the foot. Maybe roll onto the side of the right foot, opening the heart towards the ceiling, opening that right knee up as well. This is optional. Inhale. Exhale, bring that right hand back down to the ground. Bring that right foot flat again. Heel toe your foot towards the center of the mat and we'll shift our weight back for a half split, Ardha Hanumanasana. Gonna let those right toes face the ceiling. Point up towards the ceiling. We'll take an inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, melt down towards this right leg. Inhale, exhale, shift your weight forward. Let's step the right leg back and come back to down dog. Tucking those toes under, lifting the hips up and back. Good. Let's do that on the other side. So bring your gaze in between your hands. Left foot steps up, right knee comes down. We'll sweep the arms up, low lunge. Good. Inhale. Exhale, lower the right hand down. Extend the left arm up towards the sky. If you want a little more, bend that back knee, grab the outside of the foot. You can roll onto the side of the left foot, open the heart towards the sky. Mm. 
inhale exhale release the foot lower the left hand down heel toe that left foot towards the center inhale exhale we'll shift our weight back for Ardha Hanumanasana half split inhale lengthen exhale melt down and if you need to have a bend in this front knee that's totally fine this leg doesn't have to be all the way straight we're all at different levels of flexibility so it's okay to do what works for your body inhale exhale shift your weight back forward step this left leg back and we'll make our way to a seat so extend these legs out in front now from here we'll bend into our right knee step it over our left leg left arm extends up towards the sky inhale exhale twist to the right for half Lord of Fishes pose or Ardha Machandrasana. Right fingertips face the back wall. Look straight ahead or let your gaze follow the shoulder. And if it feels okay, go ahead and bend that bottom leg as well. exhale to center keep those legs in their position so if your left if your left leg is extended you're going to lower your right leg down on top of your left if you can get your knees to stack that's preferable but it's not required just do the best you can and if you were able to bend that bottom leg go ahead and keep both legs bent and stack the knees on top of one another so whether that left leg is extended or folded we're just going to inhale long spine exhale fold forward should feel a really good stretch along your IT band Uh, inhale exhale come back up to a seat extend both legs out in front and we'll do that on the other side so now we're bending the left leg stepping it over the right right arm extends up inhale exhale twist to the left left fingertips face the wall behind you Look straight ahead or bring your gaze around over that left shoulder. Right leg can stay extended or you can bend it. Come into Ardha Machandrasana on this side. Uh, inhale exhale to center let that right knee stack on top let the left knee stack on top of the right knee bottom leg is extended or folded inhale tall straight back exhale bring your hands out to the side start to fold forward Uh, inhale exhale come back up to a seat extend those legs out in front and go ahead and bend your knees bringing your feet flat we'll come down to our back 
Hug those knees into the chest for a moment. Keep that right leg hugged in. Let the left leg rest on the ground. We're going to extend the right leg up towards the sky. So you can grab behind the thigh, behind the calf, or if you can reach up and grab the big toe, feel free to do that. Keep that left leg as flat on the ground as you can and just pull the right leg in towards you. You can rest this left hand on the left hip if you like. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend that right knee into the chest and let's come to a spinal twist. So using that left hand to pull the right knee over to the left you have to scoot your hips over to the right a little bit. Right arm extends out to the side. You can also bend at the elbow. Looking straight up towards the ceiling or over to the right. Inhale, exhale, hug both knees back in towards your chest. Keep the left knee hugged in. Let the right leg rest on the ground. We'll extend the left leg to straight, grabbing behind the thigh, the calf, the ankle even, or reaching up, grabbing that big toe. Keeping that right leg grounded. Pulling that left toe in towards your body, the left leg. Inhale. Exhale, bring the left knee into the chest. Use the right hand to pull the left knee over to the right. Scoot your hips over to the left a little bit. Left arm extends out to the side or bend at the elbow, looking straight up or over to the left. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, hug those knees into the chest one last time. Squeeze yourself into a ball. Inhale, hold. Exhale, release down to Shavasana. Feet towards the bottom edges of your mat. Arms resting at your sides, palms facing upward. Let's find those breaths again. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. And come back to your natural breath. It's allowing your body to relax here and to be heavy as you melt down into the floor.
If you'd like to stay longer for your Shavasana, you can turn this video off now. And if you're ready, we'll begin to wiggle our fingers and toes. And roll over onto our favorite side using our arm as a pillow. Just taking a moment to reflect on our practice and to extend gratitude towards ourselves for self-care and self-love that we're extending to ourselves today. And when you're ready, come up to a comfortable seat. And together we'll sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale the hands to heart center. Namaste. Okay guys, thank you for joining me for this practice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Let me know how the past couple weeks have been for you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Check the link in my description box about joining my channel as a member. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.